1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2019. Today I am just going live guys with a course review. Another one from Artful Dodger or Neuter41 as he is called. And this one is the Hog's Breath Manor. To my knowledge this is a course that uh, Artful Dodger has designed for um, a society. He is in the process of making a, a course for our society which is the the tgca the golf club association but just waiting to get the notification i am live you guys and i will get the chat up but welcome to the the live stream i do hope everyone is well on this fine friday morning there we are i do have the the video up now on this fine hey or oh, probable cause welcome to the stream and uh thanks very much for hanging out guys like i say i do hope everyone as well where has the chat gone there we go so let's make a start with this one guys it is a par 73 which is quite unusual the fairways are normal the greens are soft and the green speed is medium fast so let's create match we will be playing off the black tees which are at 7851 yards and as always guys for the camera flyby purposes pin set Numeru Unu. So let's begin right. Really looking forward to, to watching uh, to watching this one. Really looking forward to playing this one, guys. Um, I have seen Artful Dodger's promo video for this, which we just showcased in the first hole. And uh, it looks like we're going to be in for a fantastic Hello scenic course here. Welcome. So why look at this, guys. Hole number one, par four. Playing 495 yards, but look at this, guys. Absolutely sublime. Hey, Roger Webster, welcome to the live stream, mate. I do hope you're well. Thanks very much for stopping by. What a beautiful looking course, guys. You can always tell on the first tee if a course is going to be good or not. And uh, Artful Dodger never seems to let you down. Just look at the grandstands here. I mean, wow. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Really, really nice looking and open and whole. Beautiful water, water feature. Have put a slow on that, so I could be in trouble here. That's a nice looking shot. Depending on the bounce we get here, I'm either going to be in bunker or in the light rough. Not the best day. Uh, Opening shots there, guys. Disappointed with that one. It's the deep stuff for you. So, 5 iron. The only pleasing thing here is the greens are soft. Just going to loft that up one touch. Let's see if we can get this up near the, the pin. Just my swing is so inconsistent in this game at times, guys. Never know what I'm going to get. Pulled that one slightly to the left, but it should be fine. No idea how well this is going to sit down on the soft greens. Sat down fairly well, guys. And I tell you what, from where we were, that is a fantastic shot. Hey, Ian, how's it going, mate? Good morning. Hey, Mikey. Very nice. Okay, Lee, I took some of those. Ah, <laughs> nice one, mate. Glad to hear you're feeling a bit better today, bud. So, so refreshing to see um, a golf ball with a long iron, stop on the course. Breaking right, right. I'm just going to favour... Just favour the left edge here, guys. Green speeds are 164. And we do manage to pick up a birdie after a poor tee shot. But welcome to the stream, guys. Great to see so many people here hanging out. Hey, Phil, how's it going, bud? So we do start under par, guys. Good way to start the round. So hole number two is a long par four, playing 504 yards. But what a stunning looking course this is, guys. It really, really is. Hey, Artful Dodger. Oh, no way we're playing at the same time. I do apologize, mate. We do have the course creator in the live stream, guys, which is absolutely fantastic. That pin position is almost bang center. In the middle of the green. I do have a Neuter's Ghost Ball here, guys. So that's great to see that we do have the course designer's ball 
in the live stream with us. He's played a good tee shot there. Great contact. Better swing line, but I've put a slow on it, but it should be perfectly fine. It should work its way down the fairway really, really nice. And hopefully give me a good approach shot into this green. Is sitting at two under, so, Artful here, Dodger, two under through two, it looks right like. So, up. I do believe I can club down to the eight iron here, guys, with that wind. The green is sloping towards the pin, so hopefully with a good strike here, we should get this close. Uh, there we go, best strike in the round so far. Ooh, this this should be close. It should work its way down this slope. And we've played that really, really well there, guys. It's going to set us up with a birdie opportunity. Not much movement in this one. Green speed's 164. And, now and it does turn right into the center of the cup, guys, and we do start with two consecutive birdies. Great way to start the round. Hey, Beagle Boy, good morning, mate. I do hope you're well. But why? Look at Artful Dodger start. He's four under through four. Great to see a, a course designer absolutely putting his course to the test and playing it the way it should be. So, hole number three, guys. Par four, playing 315 yards. But welcome, everyone, to the live stream, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. Oh, so this is drivable. And your friend's going to stay at four under. Oh, wow, it's right. going to be way long. Really didn't expect to be as long as that. So probably looking at a flop shot there. Wow, 313 yards we've nailed that there, guys. So this shot I have been trying to to execute a lot lately, guys, is where I just put it past the hole slightly and get it try to spin back towards the cup. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, uh, that one's going to come up a fair bit short. Please don't spin back too much. That one come up a good bit short there, guys. Another putt for birdie. Once again, not much in this. Just going left edge. Looks like your friend will stay at four. And we do drop that into the center of the cup. So we're trying to match Artful Dodger here, who is the course designer. He is four under. I am three. Hey, Tony, welcome to the stream, mate. Pressure's on, the Artful. It certainly is, mate. Pressure's on me, mate. So, hole four, playing 590 yards, par five. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Look at this for a hole. No idea what this building is here. I think that is the, the clubhouse that we've seen on the first. But what a beautiful looking course this is, guys. It really, really is. And as you can see, the planting the uh, Artful Dodger adds to his course. That's kind of his trademark, all the, that coloured plants. Put another slow in that. Not going to affect me too much though. Slow fast. Hey, Steel Bean, how's it going, mate? Thank you very much for stopping by. But I tell you what, guys, really, really impressed with this course so far. Should be able to attack this in two now. Just want to try and get this slow and fast eradicated. Going to move to the left with the wind and the slope. We've had a perfect there, so this should be on the green and hopefully give us a, an eagle opportunity here. Not sure how far up we're going to work this. 
Still going to come up a bit short, but happy with that. He comes probably looking at an uphill eagle putt. Drop this and you've got yourself an eagle. Do you know what? I'm going to persevere with these, this flop shot, guys. Let's see if we can get this one close. That wind will affect it. Now, this has got a chance. This has got a chance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just didn't get enough spin there. But you are trying to All see right, what I'm trying to execute, guys. And we are going to pick up the birdie there, though. Just let me catch up with the chat, guys. Brilliant to see 19 people hanging out here. Oh, I can 100% believe it would be very atmospheric, mate. Also used that building as clubhouse for my course, Phil saying. I'm watching the Not Royal Wedding. Hey, I've paid for it. Is the Royal Wedding today, mate? Never knew that. I don't pay any attention to that. But Artful saying, very atmospheric when the stands are full. Great to see you guys interacting in the chat. And like okay, I say, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. I do hope you're well. If you are enjoying this, please hit the like button. If you are new to the, the channel, guys, hit the subscribe button. But hole number five is a par three, playing 187 yards. Can you design your own course? Hey, Matteo Rocco. It is something I'm contemplating and doing. Uh, Matteo, if I can get the time. I have never designed a course. Um, I think I entered the, the course editor once before and I was completely lost. But it is something that I, I could well be looking into. To do it. So I do believe he's just going to need to loft this up one touch here. And with these soft greens, hopefully we can get this one close. The wind's going to take us back to the right. It's a better strike. Oh, that wind's moved me more, a lot more than I anticipated. That's going to be long left. Yeah, it's probably going to kick off the green. Wow, that wind really moved me a lot more than I allowed for. Ah, see, I think that wind picked up to 10 mile per hour before I hit the ball. It was 8. It was 8 mile per hour when I seen it. Just going to try and attack this flag stick here, guys. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. That range where I'm looking about 10, 11 yards, I've just not got it uh, dialed in yet. So this is just for the par save now. I've put that a wee bit further past the pin than I would have liked. And we do pick up the par there though. But I do hope everyone's Friday morning is going well so far guys and you're all set for the weekend. Hey, Spud, brilliant to see you back in the, the live stream, mate. I do hope you're well and hope your course well, is going uh, well, but thank you very much for stopping by. There, so, so, hole six of Hogbreath's Manor is a par four, playing 502 yards. Um, just out of curiosity, Artful Dodger, while we've got you in the stream, mate, what um, society is this being designed for? And have you got, have you got a bit of uh, background information for us regarding the course i did watch your your first whole flyby where you you gave a brief description of things but it is great to get information for the the viewers great content hey probably our best swing of the round so far guys perfect perfect almost straight almost space bar straight And that is going to work its way down the fairway and hopefully leave me okay. probably about a 6-7 iron into okay. this green. Yards out. Let's say it's playing 174 with a wind behind me. I believe I'm going to have to go 7 iron and loft it up a touch. Maybe a touch more, actually. Just a tiny bit there. It's a 10 mile per hour wind, guys. Wind's really fluctuating out here in the course today. It's a good strike. This should be all over this pin. When it's soft, is it going to sit for me? Sit, 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 sit. Oh, wow. Still didn't sit. And 
And here we go. This one for Birdie. Hey, Trixon, welcome to Stream Bud. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really hope you're well. I really appreciate everyone that's in the, the live stream with me, guys. And um, hanging out with me. So, Arful Dodger says, I done a new video at 2 a.m., Bud, with a. Yeah, I did see it, mate. It was very hard to, to hear your voice, mate. I did under I did hear you say that it was at 2 a.m., so your voice was low. I would probably have to listen to it with, with headphones on, mate, to, to pick up what you were you were saying. Also, what I picked up was it was for a society. So we do have a birdie putt here, guys. 24 feet, one inch down. This one's really going to turn to the right. Don't think I've hit that as firm as I should have, guys. Wowly, I've, I've left that eight feet short almost. Okay, let's see what you can do with this eight footer. Oh, that is a terrible putt there, guys. So it's just going to be fighting to get par now. That was a horrendous par putt, eh, birdie putt there. No. That is a, that's criminal to, to be giving that, the course a shot back like that, guys. That is a, that has annoyed me. So hopefully I can now go and take that anger out on the course now. But that was a terrible birdie putt. Just didn't hit it at all. Three under for the round. Oh, so the actual name of the, the society is the Hog's Breath Society. Hey, Chris A, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that kind words, guys. And like I say, thank you very much for hanging out. Hey, I love your channel. I don't want to sound greedy, but I made a course that never got a critique by anyone. Yes, mate, I did get your message. I did search for it, Trixon. Was that the old, old, old Honokyu or something? I could not find your course, mate. Um, I could not find your course. I searched for it in the Golf Club 2019 and couldn't find it. Um, if you put the course name in again, mate, maybe it's on the Golf Club 2, is it? The course, and it's not on the Golf Club 2019. But hole number four, guys, is playing 400... Uh, hole number seven is playing 473 yards. I have gave the course a shot back. Just going to be safe here and come down to the seven iron. Now that was a swing. It's a nice swing there. Should be all, all over the center of the fairway. But yeah, I did did get it. Um, I, I I searched for it, mate, word for word, like what you said on your YouTube comment, mate, and, and it just uh, didn't come up. Like around 195 yards to go. So with this win, guys, I do feel I need to deal off this a touch. Just looking to run this up the slope, if possible. There we go. That's a better strike. Good. Has this got the legs? Come on, get up this slope, please. Get up. No, it's just going to come up a bit short. It's probably going to come back a touch. Just didn't have enough porridge in that there, guys. Should have should have clubbed up there actually in this wind. So this is a testing putt. Thirty-nine feet, one foot uphill. This is breaking both ways. This is just like a lag putt to get up there. Oh, Lee, what is going on with my putting today, guys? Wow. Once again, I've left a birdie putt really, really short. And it looks like I'm going to be giving an hour away, an, away another shot, guys. Unbelievable. Really disappointed with that. Oh, this one could go. Oh, why? I'm just off the back of playing a course with firm, fast greens, guys. And uh, my muscle memory is in that mode. And I'm, I'm really letting myself down with the putting here. So this, this is another bogey, guys, after a great start. That's two consecutive bogeys. And I'm back down to two under par. So really need to get my finger right now. And start getting a feel for these greens, but they they're playing really slow compared to the course I just played on. Hey, Amphrey, welcome to the stream, mate. So this course is based 
on an old British country manor estate. Fantastic, mate. Hey, Bruce Copplestone, welcome to the stream, mate. Did, Bruce, they just said that certain people were having individuals. I think it was minority. Um, it was minority people who were having issues, but I loved it. I loved it, the server, server side update. So look at this for a whole, guys. Wow, it's like a stadium, man. It's absolutely outstanding. Imagine this with... Um, Imagine this with crowds in a society event. Absolute fantastic. 221 yards. I think this is a club. Just looking to get the wind to, to move me back towards the flag. Come on, wind. This, one's looking dialed this in. should be fairly close, guys. The green should start to break back towards the pin. Still a bit long. Still a bit long there. Surprised at that. Putting from around 16 feet out. Birdie opportunity here though. My putting has been woeful, guys. I've been putting for birdie in every hole from this kind of range. I think the last one was 34 feet uphill and I really underhit it. Breaking back towards the cup towards the end there. This has got a chance. Oh, didn't break back as much as I anticipated at the end there. But certainly got an estate feel to the course, guys. It's it's phenomenal looking course. And like I say, Art for Dodger certainly in my top five designers for the, the Golf Club 2019. Hey, Bart, welcome to the stream, mate. I do hope you're well, and thank you very much for hanging out. So I'm going to remain at two under par, guys. Two shots behind the, the course designer, Artful Dodger. My putting's letting me down here. So hole nine is a par five, playing 563 yards. Looks like it's going to be a dog leg left. But once again, guys, it's a beautiful looking hole. You can tell a lot of... A lot of thought and creativity has went into this one. And I'm really looking to pick up birdie here. I can assume with a good tee shot, we should be hitting this green in two. Pure slow on that one, but I'm going to be perfectly fine. What an aerial shot of the course that is. I just wanted to hug this left-hand side of the fairway as much as possible. I reckon we could be hitting this in two here, guys, hopefully. We do have an insurance policy here that if we are long, so I am going to be aiming at this side, guys. If we are long, hopefully that's going to come back off the slope towards the flag for me. Ah, I've put a slow on that one. It's another slow, so it might actually hit the tree here. Just my swing tempo today, guys, is off. And this is why I'm not able to compete in society events um, well at the moment. I just can't swing consistently as well. My game is nowhere near what it was on the golf club too, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. 83 to 90. Just going to deal off this one. And again... Just try and get this one close. Looks like your friend will stay at four under. Come on, sit down. Oh, it's running on a bit. Didn't expect that to go as far as that, but we are going to have a birdie opportunity. Okay, here's your putt for birdie. But my putting has been really bad today, guys, this round. And we do drop that into the centre of the cup and we do move back to three under par. We were four under after a great start. We had four consecutive birdies, par, and then two consecutive bogeys. Fantastic course, guys, so far in the front nine. Really enjoying it. Oh, that's brilliant to hear, Mike. Absolutely outstanding, mate. Great to hear your wife's picking up a PS4. So, hole number 10, guys. A par 4 playing 462 yards. Slight dog leg right. Cool uh, bunker there. Not sure if that's going to come into play here, though. 
But this wind should help us out, but I certainly don't want to put a slow on this. I have been putting slow on things. But what I really love, guys, is these like ram head skulls as the the T markers. That is fantastic. Way we didn't put a slow on that one. And that wind's gonna take us right over to the left hand side of the fairway where we want it to be. And that should really open up the, the green for us now. Okay. It's going to be a nut pill approach shot. 154 into that wind. Playing 159 into the wind. So just deal off in this two touches here to try and counteract this wind on the uphill. Wind should start to take us round. Is this going to sit for me? Come on. Sit down. Sit down. Just a wee bit long there, guys. Far better swing though. Starting to get a feel for the feel for the course now. It's an 18 foot putt for birdie. Ooh, we're going right at the hole here. Oh, Lee, once again, I had the line and I've just left it short. I really just can't get to grips with these greens. It feels really, really slow. I know they're playing 164, but the course I just played prior to this, guys, was 187 and firm. And I just cannot get to grips with these greens at the moment. Apart from that, happy with the, the rest of my gameplay, to be fair. So hole number 11, guys, is a long par 5, playing 624 yards. Looks like it's going to be a slight dog leg right. But this is a really nice course here, guys. Created for the, the Hog's Breath Society. It's a society I've not heard of. I think they are an American based society, American players mainly. I'm just trying to hunt down Neuter's score now. Currently one shot behind them, but do have opportunities here. And I'm just okay, trying to hold the left-hand side of this fairway here, guys, to, to give me a line of sight. It's probably just going to be a layup shot. Just looking to get this as far down the fairway as possible and ideally leave me a flop shot. Might hit front of the green. Pulling things slightly to the left. It's going to hit the green, but it's going to be way off the, the pin. Just let me catch up with the chat, guys. I thought for sure you were heading for trouble with that last shot. Uh, but you proved me wrong. Sweet. Alone in the dark. Yeah, I never seen that message, mate. Someone telling Lee he was crap. All right, okay, mate. To be fair, mate, my, my game is nowhere near the standards it was on the, the golf club too, so everyone's got their own opinions, guys. Once again, we are going to try and execute this flop shot. See if we can get it close. It's slightly downhill. That wind will move the wind, the ball back to the right. This should be... Oh, I'm surprised that went as far left as that. Probably looking about a seven foot putt for birdie though to get back to four under par after that two consecutive bogeys. It's my putt that's really let me down this round here, guys. Just just can't get to grips with it. Oh, Lee. Missing five foot putts, guys, for birdies now. What is happening? What is happening? We are going to pick up the par, and Neuter has picked up a birdie there, so he's now went five under. No, it's a pleasure, Trixion. I will definitely be checking that out, mate. Um, looking forward to, to trying it out. So, guys, putting is way off today, guys. Um, when you're giving yourself five foot putts for birdie and missing them. But the main case, the, the main thing here is we're just showcasing the course. 
So hole number 12 is a par 4, playing 498 yards. It's going to be a slight dog leg, right? Looks like it's going to be a favourable pin position here for me. And hopefully we can start converting some of these birdie opportunities, guys. But so far, really enjoying this course. Certainly one I would recommend you guys get out there and play. Oh, Lee. Might just hold the fairway here, guys. But there you go. Just my swing. It's so inconsistent in this game, guys. I, I normally push the ball right because I play with my right thumb on the right uh, analog stick. But as you're seeing, I'm pulling things to the left now. So, with that wind, just going to loft this up one touch. Looks like if we get this close at this side, there's very little break. That's a better strike. This, this should be easy. all over this. This should be all over this pin. Come on, sit down. Why are you still running out a fair bit? And that's why I can't wait for this server update guys to come back. They said they are they are fixing the issues. And it is looking like it's going to be released again shortly. The sooner the better, guys, because the game was fantastic. I really enjoyed playing it when it, it was briefly briefly up. But we do get back to four under par, guys. Let's see if we can now kick on. The course designer, Artful, has finished at six under par. So hole number 13 is a par four, playing 449 yards. But I will certainly try that um, course out tricks, and it says takes place in Cork, Ireland. It's an old-fashioned links course, so no beautiful trees, but really nice landscapes instead. Looking forward to, to checking that out, mate. I really am. And like I say, guys, just a huge shout out to all the, the designers, all the creators out there. Just going to apply a touch of fade here, guys, to, to combat this wind. Who put time and effort into these courses for the likes of me and everyone else to play, and it is truly appreciated. I should be right down the center of the fairway here, guys. Probably looking a Sam wedge or a pitching wedge into the green here, and hopefully we can get this one close. And about Pitching wedge it is. Three, six, nine. So it is playing one, three, eight. With that wind, Do you know what? I'm just playing it. And we are going to apply one touch of fade just to try and counteract the wind here. Hopefully the wind will hold up the ball as well. Let's see if we can get this one close. Should be all over it. This should sit down. Still running out a fair bit, guys, for the soft greens. But we are going to have another birdie opportunity here. This time 10 footer. This one's going to turn to the left. Just going to play this really, really softly, guys. So the break will probably exaggerate slightly. Oh, it's just another putt that's went by inches, guys. I mean, this is a round where I could probably be easily four or five shots better off if it wasn't for my poor putting. And we do pick up the par there, though. And that'll keep you at four under. So we're going to remain at four under. Plenty of birdie opportunities happening, guys. Just not converting them. So hole 14 is a par three, playing 158 yards. Look at that cool little fence walkway. That is really cool. I just love the creativity of this course. So, 158 yards. It is playing 151 with a win behind us. I'm actually going to loft this 9 iron up one touch. 
and see if we can get this running up towards the pin. It's a good strike. One should come round. Wow! I just don't understand that, guys. I mean, and this is where the game's broke. I've just put a 145-yard club, lofted up, and it went 170 yards. So work that out. I really can't work that out. I had a 9 mile per hour wind, which has just now changed to 11. I just, I just don't understand that at all. I cannot understand that at all. That is really, really weird. So once again, big ask here for the birdie putt. 28 feet down, 5 inches. This has got a chance if it keeps turning. Oh, oh, wow. That was going to be, that was wow. Going to be so I've went from one extreme to the other, guys. Under hitting things, now over hitting things. But I, I cannot understand that at all. Really can't understand that one. Very, very strange. So now... Once again, guys, big ask here just to save par. My game is just, just all over the shop at the moment. <laughs> Would you believe it, guy? I just can't get to grips with these greens. It's another bogey, and it's it's just such an unnecessary bogey. But there you go. Sometimes your luck is way on the course sometimes it's not and i drop back down to three under very mixed round today guys okay it's time to send this ball on its way hole number 15 is another long par five playing 596 yards so artful's asking er early anyone else got any ideas or preferences on my next project for you guys message me on psn fantastic artful I mean, like I say, mate, I've been in touch with the guard and that. I'm looking forward to to what you throw up, mate. I really, really am. Can't wait to play it, mate. Can't wait to showcase it on the channel for the society as well. So we are just wanting to be over to the right-hand side of the fairway here. Try and open up a line of sight to this green. Nice drive. Probably my best swing of the round there, guys, to be fair. The wind is starting to take me round. And we should have a line of sight now. Would have liked that more towards the right-hand side of the fairway. But we are going to have a line of sight here. Through this tree, be it. I don't know if we're going to reach. Just going to try and draw this, uh, fade this one round a touch. Just looking to go through these trees. It's a great strike. And look at this for a shot, guys. Not bad for someone that's a crap player. That couldn't have worked out much better. And hopefully we can at least get birdie here. Maybe even pick up eagle there. Fantastic shot there. It's just my putting today has really let me down, guys. My putting's been pretty good prior to, the, to this round. But I do know that, I've, like, like I said earlier, guys, just going from a firm, fast green to a, a green that's slow and medium, it takes a lot of adjustment. So I've not held a, a putt worth of any note this round so far. So 27 feet. Eagle opportunity. That time we had the length bang on, guys. Just didn't have the, the read. And we are going to pick up a birdie there. So it's such a, an up and down scorecard today. It really, really is. Majorly down to my poor putting. But we do get back to four under par. All right. No, pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. I mean, mate, this channel's about as much as you guys as it is as me. That This is why I try to do it. Hence why the, the channel's grown from strength to strength. You know, we've currently got 34 viewers here and it's fantastic. Hey, One Kidney, welcome to the stream, mate. Bart saying you're an awesome player, Lee. Maybe just a lot. Yeah, mate, I'd, 
I'm, I'm nowhere near the standards I was in the Golf Club 2. On the Golf Club 2, mate, I would have challenged anyone and 90% would have been confident. You know, there were some great players out there. I'm not saying I would have won, but 90% confident. This round, I could, on this game, I'll shoot an 18 under and then a 4 under, maybe a 3 over, you know. I just don't have the, the consistency that some of the top players have in this game at the moment, but it will come. It will come. Just my pattern today, guys, has let me down. That's that's all I can can complain about. But this is a short par four, uh, par five. So try and maybe pick up eagle here. There we go. Solid tee shot. But absolutely loving this course, guys. I really, really am. And I can't tip my hat enough to you guys who go out there. I know it takes artful dodger. Okay. Hours upon so hours to design a course, and uh, I've got so much respect for you guys that do it. So, 178 yards. Let's say it's playing. I've got to add on. Let's say it's playing 186 yards here. I actually think just de-lofting this a touch because I am on a slight uphill slope. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is a touch of fade. Let's see if we can attack this pin. Push that slightly right. For the green it's going to be long. But we are up on the dance floor. Didn't need to, to deal off that club there, to be fair. But we are going to have a chip for an eagle. Nine yards. So, that goes six. This will be close. It might drop. If not, at the worst here, guys, it's going to be a birdie if I can execute it well. Oh, it just checked up quicker. I put a slow on it. That That's slow meant it better. checked up probably about a yard um, quicker than it should have done. So let's see if I, I can actually knock in a five-foot putt for birdie. Hey, we do get another birdie, guys, and we do get back to four under, is it? Five under, five under, so the first time in the round we've been at five under. Let's move on to hole number 17, which is a par three, playing 210 yards. Just going to catch up with the chat, guys. I still have to use the Fisher Price Clubs to shoot with any consistency. Hey, you'll get there, mud. Hey, Control 12, welcome to the stream, mate. I do hope you're well. Yes, mate, we will, I will get Phil to add this to this course to the society, mate. It's the least we can do because you are designing a course for our society, mate. But it's a course that I'm sure Phil would have added regardless. Anyway, mate, it's a beautiful looking course, bud. So, with that wind, I'm just lofting up this five hybrid here, guys, and seeing if we can get this landing down softly. On this green here. That's a beautiful swing. This should sit down really quick. This should be bang on guys. It really should. Wow. Didn't expect that to run out as much as that in soft greens. I really didn't. Probably looking about a 20 foot putt. 16 foot putt. Little movement in this one though. Should be looking to convert this. Had the line once again, guys. Just didn't hit it. Really just struggling to get to grips with these 164s. I think this is actually... I could well be wrong, but I think this is actually the first time I've played a green with 164 and soft. There just doesn't seem to be the run out you would normally get, you know. But guys, final hole of this beautiful course is playing 488 yards par four. Really, really impressed with this course and what a looking, what a beautiful final looking hole it is, guys. Look at that, Hogs, the society name. 
but why what a what a course this has been guys it really really has once again it's been a fantastic course from artful dodger it's been a pleasure to play it i'm just gonna have to come down to the the free wood here try and use every bit of this fairway Pull that one slightly to the left, but we're going to be fine. It's probably going to leave me a 7 or 8 iron into this green now, I would imagine, going by my yardage calculations. All right, we're about oh, why? We're way off at 5 hybrid? Surely not. I won't be hitting that. It's going to be the 5 iron, guys. A lot further away than I imagined. But look at that for a clubhouse, guys. Unbelievable. It's kind of got like a me medieval feel to it. With the soft greens, with that wind, it is uphill towards the green. Hopefully this is the club. I'm not going to adjust it in any way. Just going to play it. Beautiful strike. Looks like this is a beauty. This should be close. Come on, get up there. Get up there. We are patting for birdie, which I think we've done on every hole bar one, guys. Just unfortunately, my patting has not been good. That's definitely got enough legs to get there. Is it going to turn back? Oh, didn't turn back like I expected. So, guys, there we have it. The Hog's Breath Manor. Beautiful course. Plenty birdie opportunities. You're, go you're going to get rewarded for good shots. My pattern today just kind of let me down. Good job out there. Five but the main there. thing about this, guys, is the course and showcasing it. But for me, there's not much I could criticize in that course at all, guys. There, there isn't anything, really. I like how it played. I just couldn't adjust to the 164 greens after coming off the back of playing 187s firm and fast. For me, guys, five-star course. Please get out there and play it. Um, we will get Phil to uh, add this to our society for you, mate. And doing that, it should be handicapped. But, guys, that is it for today. I can't thank everyone enough for coming in and hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I've now got to, to go and do a few things. But I will hopefully be back on in the evening. But, no, it's a pleasure, mate. And um, there you go. Phil's saying course will be added today. Um, but what a fantastic course once again. I can't thank you designers out there enough. Please keep up the good work. You guys uh, prolong the life period of this game. And uh, hopefully the server update patch is going to come live again within the next few days. Guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the, the subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.